Okay, class. Silencio, por favor. Uh, this is Officer Kellogg from the D.A.R.E. program. He's going to be talking to you today about the dangers of substance abuse. I'm going to go sit in my car and call a man. All right. Morning, little guys. Good, Good morning, morning, Officer Kellogg. Kellogg. Look at that smile. You are one adorable cop, man. Uh, thank you. Great. Uh, so, the D.A.R.E. program has one goal, to teach kids all over the country to say no to drugs. So far, so good. So, okay, I want you guys to imagine that right now, you're walking home from school, and a man in an alleyway says to you, Hey, do you want to get high? Well, why do people want to get high? Uh, okay, you know that feeling you get when you score a goal in soccer, or you get an A on a test? On top of the world, baby! Right. <laughs> Unfortunately, some people need to take drugs to feel that good. Whoa, 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 hold up. You're saying if I get high, I can feel like I got an A on my spelling test, even if I got an F? Sign me up, man. No, 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 no. See, see, your body is just being tricked into feeling good. So if someone asked you to get high, you just say... Thanks for the opportunity. <laughs> Absolutely not. No, no, because... Okay, what if they told you that in order to get high, you'd have to do a drug? Like, for example, smoke a substance called crack. I'd be like, smoke that crack! No, <laughs> guys, no. The bottom line here is drugs are very bad for you. You can get addicted to them. Officer, sir, I am straight up addicted to Chips Ahoy cookies. But I don't eat Chips Ahoy's all the time. I've learned to pace myself, and that is exactly how I'm gonna treat my crack. Oh, I get it. Drugs are okay as long as you're responsible about how much you do. She gets it. No, no. She, she does not get it. No. So drugs are kind of like a fun treat for a special occasion. Exactly. I finish my times tables, I get you unwind with a half hour of TV and a little bit of crack. Oh, crack's the new ice cream. Yay. No, no, it's not. I'm sorry, what's your name? Shallon. Well, Shallon here is missing the mark hard and it's throwing some of you off. So if anyone offers to sell you crack or any drug, you say no. Walk away, tell an adult. Oh, what, so that adult can horn in on my crack? Heck no, first come, first serve, baby. Okay, 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 you are very confused. Officer Kellogg, if these grown-ups in alleyways who sell crack don't find me, how can I find them? Because of you, sir, when I grow up, I want to be the man in my neighborhood who gives crack to kids. No, you don't, because that's called a drug dealer, okay? Oh, you guys, I see at least three alleyways right now. After school, let's walk in them until we find drug dealers with crack. Wow, big day for crack. Okay, guys, everyone, just stop talking. You, you did this to me. You're going to help me fix this. Come here. What's your name again? Shallon. Okay, Shallon and I are going to play out a very simple scenario to make you understand. I will play a drug dealer. The hero of our story. <laughs> no, not a hero. Bad guy. So, pretend Shallon walks by me on the street. Remember, we say no to drugs. Hey, little girl, you want to buy some ecstasy pills? No, thank you. I only do crack. No, no, Shallon, no. You just say no, and then you tell an adult. Any adult? Sure. Okay, I pick my mom's boyfriend, Doug. Hi, Doug. What? Are you my dad yet? What are you doing right now? Propose to my mom, Doug, so we can be a family already. Just stop it. I don't want to talk about your mom. Quit playing games, Doug. Be a man and put a ring on it. <laughs> all right, all right. You know what? I think we're done. If anyone asks what I taught you, repeat the three words on the chalkboard. Just say... Now to crack! <laughs> Sorry, I think your kids like crack now. Mrs. Finley, can we take recess early and seek out crack? Sure, just uh, follow a line later. Yay! Yay!
class, this is Officer Rosen from the Irvine Cops and Classrooms program. He's going to be talking to you today about stranger awareness. Mm -hmm. So be courteous and still. Yay for this. <laughs> I'm gonna go sit in my car and make an adult phone call. Hi, <laughs> right, good morning, guys. Good, good morning, morning, Officer Rosen. Okay. A cop and a windbreaker? That's a cool look, man. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Now, I wanna talk to you kids today about something that I call stranger danger. Sometimes, especially now around Halloween, you know, uh, you may find yourselves in a situation where you're confronted by a stranger without a parent or a guardian nearby. So far, so good. No, no. Okay, now let's say a man, he pulls up into the school parking lot and he's in a van and he offers you some candy. Ooh, I like candy. Uh, well, we all like candy, but the question is, what should you do? Whatever it takes to get that candy. Okay, wait, 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 now wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The man, he says to you that what you have to do is get into his van to have that candy. Get in that van? No, 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 no. I'm sorry, it's on me, it's on me. I should have clarified. The man is a stranger, you don't know the man. Okay, so then you go, what's your name? I'm Shallon. Where are you from? I'm from Orange County. Everything checks out, then hop in that van and get that kid. Oh, I get it. So if you introduce yourself to a stranger, they're not a stranger anymore. No, 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 no. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's, I'm sorry. Now, what was your name? Shallon. Okay, so Shallon here is uh, uh, clearly uh, misinformed but she sounds very confident, and that might be throwing some of the rest of you off. The bottom line, guys, is that you should never, ever talk to strangers. Whoa, whoa, hold up. I can't talk to them? I mean, I'm chilling in this dude's sweet van, eating all his candy, and I'm supposed to just sit there in total silence? That is classic bad manners, man. Yeah, that's disrespectful, Officer Rosen. Yeah, you're mean, sir. <laughs> Okay, guys, when I say don't talk to strangers, that includes not getting into the van. Mr. Officer, listen, let's back this thing up. There's candy involved, right? Now, for me, I am all about candy. And if all I have to do to get said candy is hang out in the van, I am now all about vans. Yes. Shallon's right. I'm starting to see vans in a whole new way now. Do you know how much candy you can fit in a van? No. Hey, you guys, there's a van parked across the street. If it's there after school, let's all approach the driver for candy. No, 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 don't, don't do that. Officer don't. Rosen, because of you, when I grow up, I want to drive a van and pass out candy to kids. I love vans. Wow, big day for vans. Okay, wait, 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 what, 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 okay. I, I, I think that everybody here may have less of a handle on strangers than before I walked in. That's not a good thing. Shalom, can you yeah. come up here? Help me out. These guys obviously look up to you. Are you the leader in the class or something? Unofficial, no title, but that seems pretty accurate, yes. Okay, and Shalom and I are gonna uh, do a scenario. Okay, it's Shalom again. Shalom, Shalom, we're gonna do a scenario. No candy in this one, and there's no vans either, okay? No vans? Ugh, I already hate this. Hey, guys, guys, just please, please, pretend I'm a man who walks up to your friend Shalom in a park, and remember, it's not safe to talk to strangers, okay? So I'm coming up and I say, hey, little girl, you wanna get in my van? You're probably a friend of my dad's, let's go! No, 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 hey, look, I'm not, I, I, I am a total stranger to you. Well, I, I don't know all my dad's friends, I don't even know my dad. I'm not a friend of your father. Oh, wait, so are you playing my dad? Oh, what's up, dad? I get why you left, mom is a mess. Challenge we can acting with our dad, guys! Yeah. Yeah. Name even a single thing that was wrong with this scenario? Um, let me think. There were no vans. And no candy. And the guy playing the dad sucked. <laughs> yeah, but Shallon was awesome. Yeah, Shallon, 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 okay. Shallon. Yeah, I guess you could say I'm the vans of acting. Yeah, yeah, okay, you know what I can say?
Okay, class, let's stop the chatter. One, two, three. Four, five, quiet. Yay. Class, this is Captain Lemke from the Irvine Fire Department. He's going to be talking to you today about holiday fire safety. So please stay focused and curb the wiggling. I'm going to go sit in my car and eat this bag of baby carrots. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Captain Lemke. You guys excited for Christmas? Heck yeah! Santa Claus, baby! All right. So what can we do to be fire smart this season? Unplug your Christmas lights at night, remind your parents to test their smoke alarms, and always keep a safe distance from the fireplace. Whoa, hold up, man. This fireplace is where the toys come down. Mm, I love me some toys. Yes, but the fireplace is still very dangerous. Now, now, I know you're excited about Santa coming down that chimney, but on Christmas Eve, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna get in that fireplace! Get those toys! Don't do that. Don't do that. I just said the fireplace is dangerous. Does that mean Santa's in danger? Well, no, Santa's different. He has, you know, special magical powers that protect him. Captain Lemke, do we have that same magic? Only one way to find out. Get in that fire, see if you burn. Oh, no, please don't do that. Well, you're right. I'm going to see if my pets have magic first. <laughs> no, 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 no. J just forget about the magic thing. Fire hurts everyone, even Santa. So Santa is in danger. I don't know. Just be careful around the fireplace. Well, hold up, man. You expect me to just chill out, snug in my bed, and let this saint slide down my chimney into a fiery death trap? That is messed up, man. That seems evil, Captain Limkey. So what do we do? Throw on some thick shoes and get in that fireplace so you can give Santa a heads up. Yeah, good idea, Shallon. No, don't do that. I I'm sorry, what's your name? It's Shallon. Shallon's idea is terrible, but she's very loud, so it's throwing you off. Do not go into your fireplace on Christmas Eve. Slow it down, Backdraft. Now, Santa's my boy, okay? And I have been borderline naughty this year. I owe it to him to get in that fireplace. I'm also going to get in my fireplace, sir. Stop obsessing about the fireplace. Don't get mad at us, man. You planted this fireplace seed. Well, what if we don't have a fireplace? I mean, how can I impress Santa? Get on that roof. Grab some glow sticks. Help him land that sleigh. He'd be like, oh, thanks, man. Do, do not go onto your roof. If you want to do something nice for Santa, surprise him with some milk and cookies. If you really want to surprise him, you can hide in the oven where the cookies are. Ooh. Or hide in the refrigerator where the milk is. I'm gonna hide in a dry cleaning bag. <laughs> Stop it, everybody be quiet. You, you did this. Yeah. I want to make sure you understand a very simple con concept. So Shallon here is going to play out a little scenario. Please pay attention. Let's pretend it's Christmas Eve at Shallon's house. Oh, cool, you play my mom's new boyfriend? Merry Christmas to you, Carlos. <laughs> I'm not Carlos, I'm not in this. Now, Shallon, you see a fire in the fireplace. What do you do? I jump in there and be like, I sacrifice myself for you, Santa! Well, now you're on fire. Oh, yeah, then I call you. Hello, fireman. Come to my house. I'm on fire. No, this whole thing is to avo avoid involving the fire department. Well, who am I supposed to involve? I am on fire. Well, stop being on fire! Then come to my house and pull me out! I don't want to come to your house. I'm on my own. Stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. Santa's safe. It's a Christmas miracle! Shallon overcame a corrupt fire department and saved Christmas, you guys! Shallon! Well, I'm leaving now. Sadly, it looks like you'll all I'll all be seeing you on Christmas Eve.